For the 2022 deer season, Giuseppe and I planned a trip out to southeastern Minnesota to meet up with our buddy Noah and do some bow hunting. The particular area we were hunting, Noah and I had found over the previous few years scouting and had some really incredible hunts like this one.
well, Noah and I never saw that shooter again, but we did have a lot more deer movement throughout the rest of the night. Anyways, we'll fast forward back to the 2022 deer season where we hunted right in that same area. All right, here we are. We just got in to Minnesota last night at about nine o'clock. Got everything settled and we are hunting our first sit of our trip out here to Minnesota. Picked up a tag for Giuseppe last night. So he's in the driver's seat. Hopefully gonna shoot a nice one this morning. It's about a 10 mile an hour wind coming from the west, which really sets up pretty good for this spot. We kind of got aggressive with an area I've hunted before. And we're like within by 80 to 100 yards of their bedding area where a lot of the deer funnel from. We've got a CRP field over here to our north. We're kind of right on the edge of this strip of pines that they seem to like to hug to to, to just kind of cruise. So this is the first really good cold front here in Minnesota. So keeping our fingers crossed, I really like our spot. We hiked a ways back here. It's almost a good mile to get back to the spot, but wind in our face the whole way. Got set up in about 40 minutes real quiet and uh, we're set to go, so got the saddle man ready to sling, but we're ready to rock, man. It's uh, feels good to be out in Minnesota again. I'm hoping we can put one on the ground over here. There's some good deer in this area. I had cameras out here a lot when I lived out here and I didn't see more bucks in any other area than I did here. It's just breaking daylight. Wish us luck. Stick with us. We'll try and get it all on film. Let's kill a big one.
My turn. Night number two, baby. Oh, yeah. About to head in now. Boys are getting ready. Giuseppe, Giuseppe is ready to spook something towards me and Noah. Let's make we'll it happen tonight. <laughs> Let's make it happen tonight. Aim for the bushes. It's the morning of October 15th. It's cold this morning, about 28 degrees when we came out. Sitting in the same set we did last night. Didn't see anything here. Giuseppe or on with on the other end of the field saw six or seven and a couple nice deer. Two bucks. Um, they're already out this morning chasing does around a little bit here in October. It's a cold front, so it's been good. Deer been moving pretty well, pretty consistently. Setting up, just like I said last night, along this alfalfa field, got the ridge off our backside. We kind of like to cruise the top of the ridge a little bit, so hopefully we can get him in a pinch point and have a good opportunity at a nice buck out here this morning. Stay tuned.
So this six point bedded down in front of Giuseppe and I and stayed there most of the night and unfortunately was the last deer we saw on our trip out to Minnesota. But I don't always write a successful hunt as one that follows a blood trail to find a deer at the end of it. You know, we got quality time in the woods with our friends. We saw a lot of deer and we learned a lot. So this was a successful hunt to me and we will definitely be back. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, we'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.